In this lesson, we'll learn how to calculate the number of periods for a loan. So in this example, we have certain pieces of information to determine loan value. We know the annual rate, we know the monthly payment, but we don't know how long it's gonna take to pay off. So what we wanna find out is the number of periods that, we're, that we'll be paying on this loan. For this calculation, we need to know, we need to determine N per. We could go and use the financial functions here, or we could just type in the formula bar if we know the function name, N per. And we need the same types of information that we've learned in previous lessons. The rate is going to be the periodic rate. And so in that case, we're gonna choose cell L6, comma. I'm gonna move this out of the way just a little bit. The payment is the monthly payment amount. And we also learned that, that should be a negative number if we want a yield to yield a positive for the return value. So negative monthly payment amount, that's L9. And now the next piece of information we need to know is the present value or the loan amount. And that's gonna be L4. We're gonna close it off. The last two pieces of information are not required. And we see that it's going to take approximately 271 months to pay off this loan, given these parameters. We can convert that to years by taking L8 and divide it by 12. So it's gonna take a little over 22 years to pay off this loan. And that concludes our lesson on determining the number of periods for a loan.